Hello, I am Dietitian Eta Devan and today I am bringing to you a very requested video on bridal diet. So if you are a bride who is getting ready to be married, most of you are concerned about your skin, your weight, your hair, your nails. So there are a lot of questions coming in for the brides to be what kind of diet they should follow and what kind of regime they should go in for. So each bride, every bride wants a healthy glowing skin, good hair, good nails and uh, no dark circles of course. And so to achieve that, just remember that you need to start early. The more time you have, the better results you get. If you are a bride, to be and you want to lose say 5 kilos and you go in for a crash diet you have to lose that weight so it is definitely going to show on your skin your hair your nails and you will have dark circles under your eyes now what are the tips to improve your skin just remember that you have to up your antioxidants your vitamins and minerals and where do you get them from you can have a glass of vegetable juice. Remember to include spinach, amla, beetroot and of course if you want cucumber in it and take that short early thing first thing in the morning to get a good skin. The other thing is that you must include more proteins because proteins are the building blocks. They are the ones which are going to improve your skin. Go for egg whites, chicken, fish. If you are a vegetarian, go for lentils, go for sprouts, go for soya bean, uh, soya product, go for milk, cheese, paneer, curd. That is going to help you to get a good skin. Now when we, uh, another very important point is that remain hydrated. Have at least 2 to 3 liters of water. And I can see people making faces that it's very difficult to have 2 to 3 liters of water. Well if it is difficult you can have other form of fluids like coconut water, you can have lemon water, you can have detox water. For that you just need to add a couple of slices of cucumber in your water, leave it overnight or mint or um, even your favorite fruit. So that gives the water a very good taste and it is easier to have. Now uh, there is this uh, theory about going very low on carbs or giving up your carbs. Remember that carbs are equally important. But the complex carbs are needed by your body. For that you need to have your whole grain roti or little rice. Avoid, avoid, avoid the refined carbs. Whether it is maida or it is pasta or it is any bakery product, just avoid that. It is not going to help you with your skin or your weight loss. Now for your skin, a very important vitamins, I will talk of the, some of the very important vitamins which are needed to go, get a glowing skin for, for the coming bride. And that is uh, like vitamin C rich foods, whether it is citrus fruits or it is amla or it is uh, guava, include that in your diet, even lemon water if you have. So include that and it is vitamin C is going to give you a good skin. Vitamin C rich food will help you. Another thing which is important for uh, the collagen and for the suppleness of the skin is the vitamin A. Now for vitamin A the best food items would be say a whole egg, chicken or fish and if you are a vegetarian go for the beta carotene rich foods. Beta carotene is found in the orange and red colored um, fruits and vegetables, whether it is uh, carrot, tomatoes, papaya, include that and it is definitely going to show on your skin. 
The other thing which is uh, important is the um, omega-3, the fats and the vitamin E. So you can get these from your fruits and from your seeds and nuts. Whether it is having 10 to 12 almonds, 1 or 2 walnuts, a little bit of chia seeds, flax seeds, sesame seeds. Have it as a trail mix, a few raisins, have a trail mix in your bag and just keep it handy for that snacking time. You will get your fats and you will get your vitamin A and it's going to help you with that glowing skin and glowing hair. Another important point is that uh, so many uh, young girls they have acne or um, they have uh, constipation issues, their gut is not, their digestion is not good, their gut health is not good and it definitely shows on the skin. To improve your gut health you need to uh, take care of the microflora present in your large intestines. And for that you need to take fermented food, whether it is curd or lassi or dhokla or idli, include that in your diet. Even a little bit of achar, that is also a fermented food, but a little bit I said. Now when you, if you cut out the sugars from your diet, it definitely reflects on the skin. The acne will go off. Just see to it consistently, avoid sugar. Just before your wedding day, for 2-3 months, give it up. Excess salt. Excess salt is something else which leads to a lot of bloating and a lot of mm, your uh, uh, health issues. So if you want a perfect skin, go low on salt. Just try and do it the minimum possible amount of salt. That's going to help you. Now you want to lose your weight and you have started eating healthy. One thing which will help you to lose weight, which will help with your skin and hair, that is avoid junk food. Remember, junk food is just simple carbs, trans fatty acids and it is going to affect your skin, it is going to affect your weight. Just refuse to have it at all costs. Because it leads to a lot of oxidative stress in your body, free radicals, which harm your skin, your hair and your health. Now, I, um, another thing which, uh, which leads to a lot of dull skin is excess tea and coffee. They are very dehydrating to the system and excess tea or excess the, in the coffee, the caffeine and in the tea, the tannin, they should be avoided by the bride. Go in for herbal teas, go for green coffee, green tea and that can help you for those, uh, you know, the craving for tea or coffee. Just see to it to minimize it and it is going to help your skin. Now, uh, when we are uh, looking to for the e healthy eating habits, just remember that uh, you should have at least a gap of three to four hours between each meal. Otherwise, your digestive system has not yet processed the food which you had last eaten and you start eating again. That is not very wise. So, have a gap of three to four hours between your meals. Eat smaller meals, eat nutritious food and you will be a glowing bright. So, in case you have any more questions, you can um, ask me, you can uh, put your questions at the end of the video and I will surely answer them. Thank you very much.